feel like the platform is kind of a medium. So these are for YouTube specifically. If I cut them down and make it a reel or put it on TikTok, it just doesn't feel like it works. It's not supposed to be there. Okay. Yeah, I know. Okay, we'll talk soon. Bye, Mom. Sorry about that. Sometimes we just get phone calls. Today is February 14th, 2024. You see that? That date that I do like that? Use it as the covers, the cover art, cover card for my YouTube videos. I don't know if it's good or bad. There's people who talk about how those attract engagement. I don't know if they really work, but I guess I'm not really making those specifically to attract people, although I guess I should, but really what those are is an homage to one of my favorite artists. That artist's name is Ankawara. So I was thinking about him and his work. This is his book, actually. And he did a series of works called Date Paintings. I think that's what, it, what they were called. But I wanted to go see some. And I wanted to bring you along. Because not too far from where I live, about an hour away, at a place called the Dia Beacon, they have a room devoted to these paintings. And it had been a while since I went, so... Got in the car and I went. So let's go take a look. I want to first set the stage and play some gratuitous drone footage of the Dia Beacon. This is Beacon, New York, right on the Hudson River, as you can see. It's quite beautiful. Train tracks are right there. So if you're coming from the city, you can just come right up. The station is walkable to the museum. So you can actually see when you're there, all of a sudden, a Whole bunch of people just show up because they're just walking from the train station but this is a great museum filled with lots of really sort of famous artists and let me, let me just show you a few real quick I do a little tour before we get to Ankawara we've got Heitzer of course the holes have you seen that crazy thing he's built out west the land stuff this is Mertz We've got Flavin, of course. You know, everyone knows Dan Flavin. Richard Serra, there's a bunch here. These are cool because you can walk inside and sort of get lost in them. Robert Smithson. Uh, who else we got? Oh, Nanguidi. Uh, Larry Bell, of course. Everyone knows him, right? Warhols. This actually, this is a pretty big room of Warhols. This might actually be my favorite Warhol. Uh, that you can see anywhere. So, you know, I'm maybe worth going. The building itself, it used to be an old Nabisco. I, let me, I wrote it down, but I can't read any of my notes. A former uh, Nabisco printing package place, I think. You know, look it up. But amazing building. In, in some ways, I think these places are almost worth going just to experience the space and some of the art. Questionable. But whatever. There's some things you like, some things you don't. I happen to really love Ankawara, and this is the room of Ankawara day paintings. He made 3,000 of these paintings over four decades, and I just kind of find them fascinating, and I just love the concept behind it. In fact, the Guggenheim did a retrospective about his work. I'm going to play a clip from that right now. One of the things that distinguishes Kawara from his friends and acquaintances who we associate with conceptualism is that he was deeply devoted to painting uh, as a practice. And this is very unusual during the 60s when painting was undergoing a kind of crisis. What he did was take the, the practice of painting to a new place. And he produced uh, an idea about painting that he would subscribe to for the rest of his life, beginning in 1966. That painting would consist for him solely of the recording of a given date on which the painting was made. Yeah, right. So, I mean, I feel like in some ways I'm doing that with these videos and the date. So 
there we go. And of course, I have my everyday project where I do make something every day. And there's a little bit of correlation there. Although I came up with that idea before I even knew who Ankawara was, but you know, there's only so many ideas, right? And sometimes we have ideas that are related to other ones. No big deal. And in fact, once I find other ones that exist, I sort of become obsessed with them. Let's watch a little more of this video. The Today series um, extends from January 4th, 1966, till his death uh, this past summer in 2014. The day paintings are produced according to a very strict uh, set of rules, um, a kind of protocol. Each painting, which is produced in the course of a single day, and if it's not finished, it is destroyed, it takes the form of a list of eight possible dimensions and three possible colors, gray, red, and blue. But the colors are hand-mixed. So red is never the same exact red from one red painting to the next. And the same is true for gray and blue. Man, you know, I love the idea of rules, like setting rules for certain projects that you're working on. And I certainly have that with some things that I do. And you just create these boundaries and you're like, if it isn't done this way, then it's not the way it's done. And then maybe it's gone. Like you may, it's destroyed. It's not, it's not it. So I really appreciate that with that. I, I actually never really knew until recently about the colored paintings, the different ones. I don't think I've ever seen one of the red or blue paintings in person, but I guess they're out there. Let's just watch a little more. When Kawara produced a day painting, it was when he was able to uh, focus and reflect on the act of painting uh, over the space of, uh, of a number of hours. Um, a day painting takes, depending on the size, four, five, six, seven hours to produce. The paintings are made in a very traditional manner of Japanese lacquer technique. They are 14, 15, 16, 17 surfaces. So this is interesting as a kind of activity which creates its own contextual existence. For me, it's a huge difference. Which day paintings, they're not alike at all. Some of them are very emotional, very beautiful. Yeah, I mean, I think what he's saying there right at the end, they kind of cut that video together a little weird, but some are more emotional than the others. And I, th I also think people have more of a connection to certain dates more than others. And I certainly see that in my own project. We're seeing it with these videos. That guy really reminded me of my grandfather, though. It's really... Anyway, uh, that's it. So now you know. That's what this date, February 14th, 2024, where that comes from. Oh, but you know something? Just as an aside, uh, I do... You know, he, as we saw, he only does the first three letters of the date. I'm doing the full, the full spelled out month name mostly to fit the space, but um, I, uh, which by the way, that's the font is called League Spartan. Did you know that? I don't know. I found it. I thought it worked. Uh, I happen to really like doing the date like this, year, month, day. And I feel like that's actually the most appropriate way to write a date. And I, all my everyday photos are dated year, month, day, mostly because when you're categorizing and organizing a large group of photos. If you do it that way, they will always be in chronological order. If you do it just month first, it's always just going to put all of the Februarys together, all the Marches together. So it won't actually be in order if you just do all the dates in one folder. So I like this. And I, the only reason I don't do the year month day like this is because a lot of people are confused by when they see it. They just see a jumble of numbers. I can, I happen to be able to read that really fast just because I've been doing it for so long. But now you know, that's a thing. Thank you for coming. Thank you for listening. I hope you got something out of this one and there was a little bit of value. Check out the links below. I'm going to put that full video about Ankawara below and maybe even another one. Go to the Dia Beacon. It's worth the day trip. There's a good bookstore too. What else? Oh, call the hotline. Hotline show this Friday. We already have good calls, but if I don't get it this week, I'll do it next. Like and subscribe. See you tomorrow. Maybe.